Hi everybody, I'm Jonathan Schrantz, and today we're going to have a, another look at a different chest trap that you can use. Uh, this one is called the fishing pole trap. So we'll have a quick look at it and good luck fishing. The cool thing about the fishing pole trap here is that uh, what's more important is understanding the mechanism behind it because it's the kind of thing that can happen in a variety of different openings. Here we're going to look at just one example, but take note of how this trap works so that maybe you'll be able to use it in the future. So the most common way and the fastest way to reach this in a game is after the moves e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, the Roy Lopez. And this opening really needs no introduction. It's one of the most popular and oldest openings, and it's seen at all different levels of play. Of course, black can play a6 here. That's a very common move. But today we're going to look at the Berlin defense with knight to f6. And white will usually continue with the move castles. And he is allowing black to play the move knight takes e4, which is the most common way to play, but it's not the trickiest. And after knight takes e4, white will usually be able to regain the pawn, so the pawn sacrifice is only temporary. But we're going to look at the tricky line, knight to g4. Now, this of course is fishing for tricks here, because he's hoping, after the move h3, that he can play the move h5. And so the h-pawn here, that's the hook and the bait is on g4. He's trying to tantalize white into taking that knight because there's a big trap. So white really should ignore what black is doing and just play a simple move like c3, and then he'll have a much better position. But if he accepts and he takes the bait, we can go ahead and take on g4, and now white is in big trouble because anywhere he moves the knight, let's say knight to e1, he's gonna run into a lot of problems on the h file. And the fact that we have a rook on the h-file and a queen that can quickly come to h4 spells very bad news for white. And white can play here either f3 or f4. The only way to escape the checkmate in one move is to try to make luft. So let's play f4. Uh, now here black has to play the right move. So go ahead and think. I'll give you just a couple seconds. What's the move that black has to play in this position? I hope you were able to find it. G3, black shuts the door out and white has absolutely nothing to do to stop the mate. Though there's only one move white can play in this position and it's not a move he really wants to play. Queen to h5, delays mate for one move, but obviously it just throws your queen away. Now you guys are the chess artists, so you can determine which way you'd want to take the queen here. But my personal preference is queen takes h5 and white can do anything he wants, let's say rook f3. And if you give me just one more move, I'll be able to take on g3, or my king will be able to run away, going to f1, e2, etc. But it's not your turn, so black gets to drop the queen down, and it's checkmate. All right, so that does it today for the fishing pole trap. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to figure out the mechanism of opening the h file. Uh, and then getting your queen in there all of a sudden and being able to seal the door and ultimately deliver the checkmate. Checkmate. Aha! She got me again. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. High quality stuff just like this and lots of Lulu. Thank you very much.